This video is sponsored and approved by Skillshare. What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. And today's adventure brings us about 13 miles off road into the back country to the magnificent North Cascade mountain range. In fact, just behind me over my left shoulder, we see the mighty Mount Baker that rises just over 10,000 feet of elevation. And it is actually an active volcano. In fact, some of the clouds that you might see rising in and around the mountain are not even clouds because the melting glaciers actually drip down into the cauldron producing plumes of steam that are often visible. Nonetheless, we've got a front row seat here to a magnificent scene. We're gonna kick back, we're gonna build a fire, cook a wonderful meal, and just enjoy some van life. Welcome aboard to another van life adventure way up here in the backcountry.
just about every one of these videos where I use my SE5 survival knife to split my firewood, I get at least half a dozen comments of people saying, hey, maybe we should send Chad an axe. Or hey, have you ever thought about buying an axe or a hatchet? Truth of the matter is, I actually carry three different axes on board here in my van. And even at that, I much prefer using the survival knife to split my firewood. It's not a show here on YouTube. It's not because I don't know how to use an axe. This is just the method that I prefer for accuracy when it comes to splitting small firewood and kindling like this. Hey, I just lost my baton piece. Hey, that's our firewood. That's our firewood. I actually can't wait to get this fire started right now because there is a swarm of mosquitoes that follow me around everywhere. It's like a cloud. And typically, as soon as you get a fire started, those mosquitoes dissipate because the bugs are really bad this time of year up here in Washington. But this fire should make quick work of those. I'm really hoping that this takes care of and eliminates the mosquito problem. And for tonight's meal, I'm gonna try my hand at some campfire lasagna. Now that's certainly something that I've never done before, but that's the goal with these videos is always pushing myself and getting out here and learning and trying new things. And I think that's honestly been one of the things that I've been most appreciative for of these experiences of getting up here creating these videos for you guys is the opportunity to push myself more and learn more about cooking and starting a campfire with a survival knife which I feel like is pretty important to have in life in fact that brings me to the sponsor of today's video which is actually Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring video classes for creative and curious people, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes on topics including illustration, 
design, photography, video, freelancing, cooking, and even van life. One class that I'll be taking here in the very near future is a class put on by fellow YouTuber Ali Abdal. And that is his Productivity Masterclass Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity, which I think I will find extremely useful. As a self-employed creative myself, I'm always looking for ways to improve my time management and productivity. So, all of these courses on Skillshare, they are for the creative and curious people, lifelong learners, real working creatives, beginners, pros, dabblers, and masters. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. In fact, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So for tonight's meal, I'm using my Stansport 8-inch Dutch oven. I also do carry on board here in the van a 10-inch Dutch oven, but I find that the 8-inch is almost perfect for a personal size meal if it's just myself. But if I'm doing a meal bigger that involves other people, then I like to go ahead and switch over to the 10-inch Dutch oven. But this little Stansport 8-inch is perfect and it's going to be great for what we're doing here tonight.
So I've gone ahead and I've taken some of the coals out of the solo stove and I've put it up here on top of the Dutch oven. Normally with Dutch oven cooking you're using charcoal briquettes, normally that you would use in a barbecue. But out here in the wilderness I use just regular firewood and I find that if I just take coals from the fire and I set up on top they tend to go out fairly quickly. So tonight I have the idea of putting some light wood chips up there, getting a little bit of a fire going. That's going to draw oxygen into those coals and keep them going longer, hoping to keep our Dutch oven effect going further. So essentially what I've got going on here is a oven effect inside the Dutch oven to where it's cooking from above as well as from below. Hopefully I've got the Dutch oven risen far enough above to where it's just a little bit of a light cook on the bottom but then enough heat coming in from the top so I get a nice even bake on our lasagna for the evening here. That's exactly why I love Dutch oven cooking is it's just so creative and whatever you want to do with it you can figure it out. Nonetheless it's always an experiment. Alright, here we go guys for the true reveal of how we did on the lasagna. Yes, sweet. That's the true golden brown that we want right there on top of a lasagna. That's what I love about this Dutch oven cooking. Dinner is served some fresh lasagna straight over a campfire done up in a Dutch oven. I gotta say, for being cooked over a campfire, that is not too shabby. Campfire lasagna coming at you right here. <laughs> that right there, for how simple this meal is, and for the fact that it was cooked over a campfire. That is really, really hard to beat. It's delicious. Now I do have to say the magic ingredient to this recipe is the fact that it's fresh pasta, meaning that it doesn't have to be boiled prior to putting it in the Dutch oven to make your lasagna. It's about taking yourself, pulling yourself out of the rut. It's about putting yourself outside the box, putting yourself outside your comfort level, Try something that you've never tried before. That's where you start finding yourself that, man, you can be out here in the middle of nowhere and you can have yourself a gourmet meal. And honestly, that goes to so many different aspects in life. It's not just cooking. It's your career. It's what you want to do for a living. It's what you want to do for a hobby. It's what you want to accomplish in life. It is all about pushing your limits 
and putting yourself outside the box. Well guys, we made it down here out of the mountain and it's off to find the next adventure. It's time to call this van adventure a wrap. If you guys are new to the channel, you've made it this far into the video, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and share it because that is what gets these videos out to the masses. All right guys, these mosquitoes are eating me alive. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking.